welcome back to the Turbo Touch Secondary School Champs for 2021, held here live, streamed from Trust Arena, Waitakere, Auckland. I'd like to welcome you all to this match coming up, which is Hobson Full Point Secondary School versus Kaipara College in the mixed section. Commentating uh, today is myself, Grant Robertson, and alongside me, Ike Tupani, the man the legend who has been part of this <laughs> with George Yonke. He's arrived in here. He's been on the courts refereeing. He's now up in the commentary. And uh, it's great to have you along here, Ike. As we see, this game is the 11.50 round. There's one more that we'll be streaming, and then we're into the big games, the grand finals, which will be streamed from, from here. Ike, happy to have you here. Really happy to be here, Grant. I've been... Uh, <coughs> So far, I've uh, seen what seen a lot of uh, secondary schools, girls teams and boys teams play. So I'm really looking forward to watching a mixed game. Yeah, it's uh, fantastic. As we've no doubt you've heard, uh, viewers, we've got uh, 30 odd teams through here, six courts running non-stop. Ike, you're the man around this. <laughs> Go through the rules for me. All right. So in regular touch, we have a roll ball and turbo touch. Every time we have to restart, there's a tap. Uh, we can pass the ball in any direction, and unlike touch rugby, we only have two touches to score, then we hand over to the other team. On defence, we always give a good two metres on defence for the player to make some space, and we give them two seconds as well. Awesome. It will ride into the action here. Ball just out of court. We'll have a restart. Tap ball, as we said, as Ike said. Nice pass on through there. Knocked down will be a restart really key here Ike as I'm seeing from what I'm learning in this is to create space and great ball skill and passing skills yeah that's right so we've got uh, so the team coming forward with the ball now they'll be looking to just get a bit of a mismatch but they've got a full two seconds with the ball after a tap to try and create some space for themselves before they throw a pass or make a run Awesome, nice handling there. Hobsonville point just touched on there. So it looks like we've got Kaipura College now looking to get up the floor. A little footwork, creating space. Nice ball into the corner. Good feed, good defense there by Hobsonville point. That is the first touch. They have a second touch. Touch and pass is called by the referee. So that is... Gives Hobsonville point the ball. Quick tap on a play on here. We've got open zone into the corner. Touch, and that's the second touch. So we get two touches. That's right, Ike? That's correct. That's correct. And Kaipata did really well to cover that that uh, tack into that corner. Hobsonville, Hobsonville point brought it forward really well. And then we have Kaipata just caught there. I did put my eyes down for one second that's how fast this game goes I can it's a turnover so we'll we'll play on here good defense by Kaipara gets the early touch there's a one pass opens flick on open up she should be free passes into the corner nice cover defense there and also Mafi she's he's just helping her up off the floor there Kaipara got their two pass should be open now looking to get to the zone corner ball just goes to ground. Great vision, though. You've got to be looking to the whole court, Ike, in this right. game. That's right. Attacking forward is a really key part of this game. Hobsonville point looking to do it now with a nice, accurate pass down. Creates open space. Touchdown. Love to see it. Awesome touchdown. And one thing I'm learning, the word of transition that we see in, in the, the normal game of touch, here it's pretty much... Attack defense, attack defense, straight right. from one to the other. You don't have any transition time as such, as we just saw there. One try scored, other team tap off, and they're right down on the attack now. Intercept. Yeah, that's a really release. good point about transition. The game of Turbo Touch is almost constant transition. When you've got the ball, you've only got two sets to score, and then you're straight back on defense. <clears throat> awesome. Well, we just saw there an intercept, and then they went straight down the corner and scored. Tell me what the intercept's about there, Ike. Yeah, so normally in turbo touch, you need to affect two passes and catches before you can score. If you intercept the ball from the other team, you can score straight away. We've just seen Kaipata going for another nice touchdown in the corner. 
Excellent, yeah. So often does get caught up. I saw this morning a few couple of the games where there was an intercept and the teams were still learning that, I think, and they were looking to pass off and continue, but I think they're starting to get it right now, those ones. And we've got these teams here too, which are, I think, both new Kaipara College, definitely new to the game. So I mean, the learnings that they're getting here and quickly adapting to the game is awesome to see across these six courts that are in action. Well, that's right. I mean, these teams are getting to play against a lot of other teams of the same or stronger, similar calibre. All it does is make them more sharper. Excellent interchange work there between, and this is what I like about the mixed mixed version of it, and I was a, a very pronounced mixed player in the game of touch. Yes. Everybody has their strengths through this in the mix, especially no one's more dominant than anyone else. And, and in fact, some of the times you will have seen the, the girls, if they've come from netball spaces, places and getting into, into uh, different areas on the core and their vision is actually a real massive strength to them. Oh, 100% agree. Some of the best turbo touch players I know have come from netball. And uh, once they've got their head around throwing a non-circular ball, um, they can get themselves into space uh, just at will. Yep, I did uh, have used this in the past uh, as conditioning games for some of the sports teams in, the, in an academy style. So you, you'll have rugby athletes, touch yes. athletes, netball, basketball, everyone in there. And I tell you what, the rugby guys used to group together and think they'd take it to bits. So I'd put the netball and the basketball guys and girls together <laughs> and they would just tear them to bits and the poor rugby guys were running around all <laughs> over the place scoring no no touchdowns and just getting beaten up and it was great you know they had to learn real quick so yeah, I love it that's what i love about this sport such a common story our rugby players and you know this game was initially made for, for touch players in winter but um our rugby players and touch players in our leagueies they uh, all have to change that mindset of getting behind the ball carrier to receive the ball whereas basketballers and netballers is just second nature to them yeah Awesome, so we have a draw sitting right here. We've gone about six minutes into the game, 15 minutes, boy, it goes fast, and these these players down here have to be fit for this. There are a few subs on the benches, but 15 minutes non-stop. We've got score two all, Hobsonville point, just coming out of their zone, looking for space. Good control of the ball, really touch there, freeze them up, one pass, tip back. Good eyes up there from right in behind the active zone. Yeah, that was really nice. I like that flick, that uh, flick on back to the to the incoming receiver. Unfortunately, couldn't drag it in, but really good eyes to and awareness to be able to flick that back. And now we've got Hobsonville point just restarting there. It was just a little bit too close. I think referee's yeah. out of shot. There we go. Yep. Good call by the referee. Defender just inside the two meters. That's necessary for the uh, restart of the tap. Oh, got away with that one. It looked like a little bit of a Hail Mary, but the defender knocked it down rather than retaining it for an intercept. Yes. And they take advantage and score from that one. Mm -hmm. Hops and pull. Really good execution in that corner. Just a, two quick passes, scoring in the corner of the touchdown of the active zone. And straight back, viewers. I hope you saw that because I just missed it. That's how fast this game is, how exciting it is. One touchdown, straight back. Hobsonville point looking to reply again. Good feed on through. Nice defense. We've got oh. intercept play here, so he should be live. Good cover. So that will be not down again. I was going to say that will be a zero, so we'll recount from here. Looking to capitalize on this one. Nice interplay into the active zone. Kaipata always have a receiver down behind the active zone, so they've always got an option down there. So that's important, Ike, to keep that space, to keep create as much space around there as possible. That's right, that's right. When you've got one or even two receivers behind the touchdown zone, just like that, just like that. you just create options and you give a lot more space to the ball carrier in the midcourt. It's a really good hands to score that. Wasn't the easiest pass. Awesome. So I'll, I'll say this one is for the viewers at home, but it's probably just as much for me, actually. <laughs> Defensively. Do, are there any sort of policies and things there? Is it mostly man on man? What's, you see what are we a few, seeing? you see a few. Um, if I was just to talk about the best teams uh, in New Zealand, they 
do a, a, a bit of a blend of man-on-man -man and zone defense. But um, because there's only four of you on the court, and the court is really, really big, man-on-man uh, -man is the predominant defense strategy. Right. If the person you're marking runs long, you can't just let them run unmarked. Have to follow them. Awesome. And I guess that's part of the the evolution of the game is more people play it they, they look to, to change and adapt things as we've seen in other sports that's right that's right I mean uh, <coughs> there are some teams I've seen even here today where their, their defense strategy is just to put five down around the active zone and, and they'll just stand maybe two or three at the back and two or three at the front just to close down all the passing and running lanes but that active zone is so wide that attacking teams can still find their way through Beautiful as we see Hobsonville get the ball back here. Score is 4 all. This is a tight one. They're working hard, these two teams, with just over five minutes to go. Wow, really impressed with that Hobsonville point receiver at the end. She nearly dragged that ball in. Awesome. They're putting it all out here. As we said, we are getting down to the business end. Every play, every touchdown, everything is important here for these teams. Running through the zone, passes off, great flick on. Referee, better eyes than me from yeah. up here. Yeah, they're a bit closer to the play than we are, that's for sure. Good touch call. Nice, it's playing down the sideline, long ball. Good option to create that space. Didn't quite come off, so he'll now retreat into a defensive part. Hobsonville Point will be looking to create opportunities. Caught up there. A quick touch, tap play on, breaks through, touch, two, well picked up on the referee, happy with myself, I saw that one too. <laughs> so it will be a turnover, Kaipo to college now. Four minutes, 30 to go, four all, looking for that one, they really, both teams will be looking to try and get two quick ones just to get that, stretch that lead. It's been tight as anything in here. I put a look to chuck in, a flick on, intercept. It's intercept and then touch. That'll be from zero. They held their two, two touches up their sleeve. Yeah, correct. So you meant it, if you affect a good intercept like that and get touched, then that counts as zero, which means that you get a f another two full touches after that. Got to the showing. Pulling it back out. Got that one pass. Be looking to open... Open, touches counted there. Second touch, that'll be a handover. Kaipura College with the ball, taps to restart. As we know, that's the predominant setup. Looking to the corner, not quite connecting to his player down the sideline. Good vision there. Yeah, I really like that space he threw that ball into. If, um, if all the stars were aligned, that really could have led to a nice touchdown. So we see a long ball attempt from Hobsonville to create space down there. Intercept here, something just before that from the referee. Picked up. Oh, sneaky touch from behind. Sneaky touch. Like that Total one. Yes, very legal, but totally unexpected by the ball carrier. That's the one great thing about that. There's no, there's no uh, challenges around being offside or, off or forward passes in this game. <laughs> Pass right. anyway, you can be anywhere. <laughs> And it just means you've got to have an outstanding vision, which is what we're seeing from all these secondary school athletes here today. The vision, the flair, the energy around here is just amazing in the atmosphere, isn't it, Ike? Wow, that's right. And considering the speed these players are moving at, I'm really impressed with the accuracy that they, they have with a lot of these passes, especially in and around the active zone. That's what's leading to some of these really nice-looking touchdowns. Yeah, and we saw just a beautiful interchange there for... Kaipura College to go up one, they're leading 5-4, getting down two minutes, 20 to go, they get a turnover as well, into pass, yeah. and again, or oh, was right there, looked to get one extra pass on, has been knocked down, which will allow them the ball again, oh, oh re excellent, look on, good reaction by the Kaipura team, outstanding reactions, I thought it was going to be an intercept, but it bounced back, and then he was able to flick it back onto his player, and they get that all-important two-score buffer. A minute 45 to go. Hobsonville looking to stretch. 
it's touch two, I think, for that one. So it'll be handover. Kaipura get the position. How will they play this, Ike? Well, their attack has been pretty steady. They'll bring it up through the middle just like that. But they unfortunately dropped the ball with some really tight defence by uh, Hobson Ball. And with a minute and a half to go, two touchdowns is very achievable for both teams. Yes, it's the one thing I know. Within the, within two minutes, I don't know how many you could score, but it just goes end to end. It's non-stop. Yeah, well, the average, the average attacking set, two touches and turbo touches about between 10 and 20 seconds. So in a minute, it's conceivable for a team to get two to three touchdowns um, against your opposition. Awesome. We're seeing Kuiper really put the pressure on in this, really trying to extend that by for the two-point lead they have. Also, a few passes going around, which could be the getting towards the end of the 15 minutes. I know I'd be tired out there. They are a lot younger than me, <laughs> but the effort that's being put in here is outstanding. As we head down 30 seconds, Kaipura College, do they do get that next one? So they're out 7-4. Potential time, Hobsonville looking to get down the court. A quick tap on play into the corners. Good defense by Kaipota College to shut that one down, Ike. They did. They followed that in nicely. Everybody stayed on their attackers and just left no option in the end and they were pushing to the corner. As we see Kaipota come down, trying to get another one. They got one in the active zone. It's open. Dot down. They go out right down to the wire. 8-4. They did really well getting their ball down the sideline so quickly from the opposite corner of the field, of the court. Hobson for point, looking to finish on a high. Little dive in. We don't see that too often, mm. do we? No, I haven't seen many dives today. Very nice looking dive. Very good dive. And we come down to the final whistle from the referees. 8-4, Kaipura College extend out after a very tight one all the way through to those last couple of minutes, Ike. Yeah. I think, uh, I think Kaipata's defence was really strong just through the whole game and it's probably fair to say that perhaps Hobsonville's just dropped off in the last minutes of the game. But Kaipata, really strong attack in those final minutes. Awesome. And just a little update, Hobsonville point were given that one. So a 8-5 score line here at the Turbo Touch Secondary School Champs 2021. And we will be back with you at 12.30... <laughs> For the next game in the Turbo Touch Secondary School Champs, live streamed here at Trust Arena, Waitakere Stadium. <laughs>